Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Nerman on. I'm actually going to be doing a commentary for you guys over Battlefield 3. I really enjoy this game. I've told you guys this hundreds of times, but I always feel like I need to emphasize on it. I don't want you guys to get the wrong impression, and uh, I just really wanted to, you know, chat about it, because I haven't really done that a whole lot. You know, I give you guys my general feedback, I tell you guys a couple little stories along the way, blah blah blah, and you know, let's say the least, I mean, it's never the uh, composure that I want to give the game, because this game is amazing. And I know saying that is a direct statement of my personal opinion, but honestly, I may play on console. I played a little bit about it on the PC with a friend's house and stuff like that, because he has a pretty beefy computer like mine. But when it comes down to it, like, Battlefield 3 is pretty hard to beat. I mean, you got great graphics. I mean, granted, yes, I know the whole controversy of the Xbox and PS3 versus PC, the player count, the graphics, blah, blah, blah. All that fun jazz that I'm not going to get into because I don't want to have some comments war over something that's just a dying cause, I guess you could say. But when it comes down to it, guys, even if I do play on console, I really enjoy the game. Like, granted, there are times where I'm like, oh, this is kind of boring, everyone's sniping, and I know you guys hear me complain about snipers. I don't want to do that as much anymore, because I know a lot of you guys like sniping. And, you know, I don't try to take a direct jab at it. It's not that I, like, hate you or anything like that. It's just that the class is, you know, underpowered. It doesn't have as much emphasis on teamwork as it once did. And the reason I say that, and I do realize that the MAV is a huge asset, it's like a UAV and all that fun stuff, but people don't use it the right way, and it's unfortunate, but it's a part of reality. If you disagree, maybe maybe you're the guy that I want on my team. Maybe you're a guy that uses the MAV in the correct way. Maybe you use the sniper rifle not sitting in your spawn, camping in the back of the map on Operation Metro in a tree. I don't know. Of course, I said this again, and I'll continue to say it like I haven't played with you directly you know obviously if you were gonna get upset that I said something about a sniper you know I'm trying to direct my comment more towards you like you know I haven't played with you I maybe I don't know how you play maybe you're that sniper that is just amazing and you can 360 people and you're aggressive and you know you're a guy that arms bombs and crates and blows stuff up and uses the kid in the correct manner at least in my mind of course everyone has a different perception of the recon kit sniper kit whatever but uh, when it comes down to it guys I'm just not too fond of it PC Maybe my uh, opinion would change a lot more because, you know, there is 32 people, there's a lot more action going on, and the class really doesn't hinder the team's ability to move forward. It actually helps the team. And a lot of my, like, comments like, oh, the sniper kit doesn't help anybody, well, it's because I play on console. You know, 12 versus 12, that's pretty low on Battlefield. Look how big the maps are. That's the size. That's a grand size map where it's all about teamwork. It's really, really more emphasized on communication, the ability to move forward, the ability to use classes in my mind or many, I guess you'd say veteran or higher levels, you know, you would think that people would take the initiative to be like, hey, you know, we have lower players, get the hell off this class and help the team. Like, you would think that would be logical sense, of course it's not, but, you know, unfortunately I cannot change people's perception of different inevitables. But when it comes down to it, guys, the reason I say the class is underpowered and let me like, you know, finish because I don't want to you know, stop on a bad note. Remember back in Bad Company 2, if you did play that game, it had motion balls, and those things were awesome. Like, I love snipers in that game. Granted, I was huge on sniping, and maybe, uh, you know, my opinions are obviously a little bit more biased than the average person, but I will give credit. In that game especially, you were a huge asset. Everybody loved snipers. Who would hate them? Because they could pick people off. The guns were so much better. Oh, man, I remember sniping with the uh, GOL. And that was my favorite sniper. Like, oh man, so many good memories. Of course, you couldn't lay down, which was probably a good thing. I think the recon kit probably would have been a little bit more aggravating if you could go prone in that game, which you didn't. So I guess there was no problem there. You know, headshots were your best friend. You, you know, aimed above it, took their head off. They died. A medic would come up, pick them up. You know, good stories and a lot of fun. But when it came down to it, guys, the sniper kit back then was just so much more balanced. It had so much more power. There was C4 to blow up tanks and vehicles and... You know, all that fun stuff. So, anyway, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Like, it's not your guys' or centralized users' fault that the class is just not as effective. It's, you know, DICE's kind of fault for screwing the classes so bad that, I mean, the recon kit doesn't have any purpose. It doesn't really have a, I guess you could say, an advantage, really. I mean, you could say for the reconnaissance factor of the map, if you use it in the right way, then, oh, yeah, I'd love to have you on my team, or I would love to have somebody do that, but... Half the time, people are just trying to run people over with it, and they're not using it in the right manner. They're not even spotting half of the time. Now, granted, on console, the spotting feature is sufficiently broken, but uh, let's be honest, it's been broken for years now, so I guess that's nothing new to the table. But 
Anyway, guys, I guess that's what I want to say. Like, again, I don't hate the... Or, well, okay, I don't want to backtrack on that. You know, the sniper class just in Battlefield 3 especially is just not as powerful as the other classes. And this is nothing new to you guys. I'm sure you guys know this. I mean, I would think so. If you're a Battlefield player, you know that the recon kit is not as effective as a... You know, um, assault kit, an engineer, and all that good stuff. But if you like sniping, that's awesome. If you're an aggressive sniper, that's even better. I mean, I want you on my team then, because people I deal with on a common basis, 8 out of the 12 people, guess where they're at? They're in the spawn. It's kind of aggravating. But anyway, guys, that's where I come from. I imagine this video is probably not going to get the most love in the world, but, you know, my loyal subs will definitely uh, balance that out, I hope. So anyway, guys, I want to talk about a couple of things, and hopefully we will proceed on with our conversation. So... Anyway, guys, as a lot of you guys know, and hopefully you guys checked the video out, I mean, I would think so. It was a pretty cool edit. Cryvosh is definitely one of my right-hand mans. He makes YouTube a lot of fun. Besides you guys supporting the videos in however manner you choose to do so, hopefully in a positive manner, but there are people out there that have psychological meltdowns, and they go through and dislike lots of videos, and to them, I guess I say congratulations, you are weird. I guess that's all I got for you. So, <laughs> I don't know if I could go through 43 videos and just be an absolute baby, but... I don't know, maybe there was some kind of psychological problem that I'm unaware of. I don't know, personally I don't know the user, but I can imagine three guys that probably did it, so. Anyway, as I want to pursue forward with my conversation, but anyway, as a lot of you guys know, Cryvosh did a Twixter, and Twixters are really awesome, and I think they're really cool. Hopefully you guys do as well. I do realize that Battlefield 3 is definitely not a game that is very... Oh, how do you say this in a nice way? Like, people don't really like edits, I guess you could say. I'm not saying that's true for everyone, but I've definitely seen videos that are Twixter slowdown edits, um, kind of like a Call of Duty-ish uh, appeal to an edit on Battlefield 3, and they usually don't get a lot of respect. They usually get a lot of flack, which is unfortunate, because I thought they're awesome. Now, Crybosh's video, on the other hand, it got a very good response, and to be honest, I was really surprised. Because usually those kind of videos, you know, you get like 10 dislikes, and people are like, Oh, this is like Call of Duty, this is retarded, blah, 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 and they don't realize how much hard work he put into it. But this video got a great response, and we're actually going to be doing every single weapon in Battlefield 3. And if you guys think about how many guns are in Battlefield 3, that is a lot. And I imagine this is going to be a very prolonged thing. Hopefully we will be able to do a few videos a week, I'll continue to upload them. Um, you know, hopefully everything will go according to plan, of course. I mean, it's going to be a little bit more difficult than I think me and you probably imagined, but Cryvosh is an amazing guy. I don't think he goes back to school till like, February, so he's pretty cool, you know, and I think, uh, more or less everything will kind of just slide into place. I think we'll be able to get videos going. I actually sent him five more, uh, gameplays, because the gameplay was mine, and then he did all the editing, because, let's be honest, guys, if you guys wanted me to edit that, it probably would have looked... How do I put this in a good way? Awful. So, I mean, I just imagine you guys probably would have been like, this is kind of stupid. What are you thinking, Andrew? Give it to a professional or somebody that's a little bit more keen on the Twixter side of it. So, Crybosh decided to take it up. We're going to be doing every weapon in Battlefield 3. And I hope that everything will go according to plan. Of course, that is a lot of weapons, as I stated previous. But, you know, Crybosh is very effective. And I think the longest and the hardest part is going to be finding music for each individual episode. I know Crybosh is very very uptight when it comes to music he spends a lot of time worrying about that which is unfortunate but uh, of course you know he will get it done according to plan and i imagine that we will continue to pump videos out on a regular basis i don't want you guys to think that that those videos are going to become a problem i don't want you guys to you know get worried and think that i'm only going to upload those uh, you guys will continue to get commentaries live comms all that stuff on a consecutive basis don't worry i just wanted to allow you guys to know that i'm going to be bringing a couple of cool little projects to the channel i think they'll be a lot of fun and I imagine you guys will enjoy them. I imagine there'll be a couple of haters along the way that get angry and have a psychological meltdown. But of course, I imagine that my uh, basis will fight back and, uh, you know, get them out of the hell out of my channel. So, I guess that's all I got for you guys. I don't really have a whole lot of, uh, you know, ideas for the rest of the commentary. But when it comes down to it, guys, I appreciate everything you guys do. And it's just amazing, you know, I don't ask you guys for terribly a lot. I do like you guys to engage in the comments. I mean, I always want to allow you guys to know that. If you guys ever have questions or concerns, you guys are always more than welcome to contact me via Twitter, PM me on YouTube, or just write in the comments for everyone to see, but I will also respond to you as well. So, anyway, guys, I guess that's where I really come from. I don't really have a whole lot else to say, so I guess I'm going to sign off, and hopefully you guys enjoyed my amazingly awful editing, and I will see you guys in the next installment. This is NMO, signing off. Peace.